As you might have noticed in the last video that Apple Notes popped up a lot despite me previously saying that Obsidian was the best note taking app for me. And yes, I switched from Obsidian to Apple Notes. In this video, I will explain the five reasons why so you're more informed if you want to switch from Obsidian to Apple Notes too. Especially on the mobile app, searching is harder than what it needs to be. If you go into the mobile version, which is where I use Obsidian 99% of the time, all your notes are on the sidebar, which you have to click here. And the problem is that the search bar is not always right there. And if you want to access the search bar, you have to click this button, go back and then click search and then type in what you want to look up. And if you want to go back to the notes, you have to repeat the same process. And compare that to Apple Notes where you start with the timeline view, not using the sidebar. The search bar is right here and it's super easy to search within the notes and quickly go back. And as you can see, the difference between Obsidian and Apple Notes is quite extreme here. I remember especially one time I was relaxing in the sofa and wanted to search for the word procrastinating, but when I realized how much harder it was in Obsidian, it felt a little disgusting. I felt some sort of extra friction, this extra strain to be honest, which is what I don't want in the note taking app at all. But now with Apple Notes, I can just search whatever I want. And again, it could be easily fixed with Obsidian. You could just implement the search bar right here, but there aren't any, so it is what it is. Where Obsidian truly shines is in its linking capabilities and typing two square brackets to do so. Then you can see all the backlinks and also visualize this entire web of notes in a magnificent way. And Apple Notes, you cannot link at all. But for me, I slowly over time realized that it's not too much of an issue for me because I almost never link notes every day. I just type into the daily note, sometimes create a new note if there is a particular topic I'm interested in or a particular video and that's pretty much about it. Of course I paste links to website but you can do it in any note taking app. I understand and I was it for a long time that many people prefer to link especially Rome and Obsidian in Mem and if so these note taking apps are the best choice but I don't link apparently, so yeah, that's how it is. And this is something I found out, especially with the web version. And as such a quick disclaimer, I don't have Obsidian Sync, but Sync via iCloud instead. So if you pay $10 a month for Obsidian Sync, you might not experience these issues at all. But if you do, please let me know in the comments. Whenever I type something on the computer, sometimes there is some lag in which some of the text I wrote seconds ago are totally gone totally gone from the history. And I then have to write it again, which obviously causes friction. It's like the more text suddenly disappears, it's like the worst uh, thing you can experience as a writer. And also in some cases, there's this spinning wheel in which Obsidian has for some reason created multiple copies of one note. And in order to resolve it on the computer, you have to go to the file explorer and then manually delete these copies, which is kind of tedious. And these are these technical difficulties that makes it so much harder than it needs to be. And as we not like it lag at all, I think it's pretty much uh, speaks for itself. One thing particular with Obsidian is their lack of web version. And currently have a desktop version and mobile versions for iOS and Android. And there are no signs of implementing a web solution soon. And this is perfectly fine for almost anyone, but I happen to have a day job where I'm not allowed to download almost any program for the designated job computer, which I totally understand by the way, it's a job computer after all. But because of that, I cannot access my notes on that computer because there's not a web version, which is makes it hard for me specifically considering I spent many hours of my week obviously on the day job on that computer. And Apple Notes on the other hand has a web version. I don't know if many people understand this, but you can go into iCloud.com and uh, type in your Apple ID or create one. You don't necessarily need an iPhone or Mac to do so. Then you sign in via Apple ID and then access your notes pretty frictionlessly. And, and they update across all the devices whenever you need to. So it's very um, streamlined there. And sure, it might take a couple more seconds to load in first time, for instance, when you start up the computer and then open up the pages first time. But after that, it's like every note taking app ever. It's uh, quite uh, sufficient as is. So again, this is a highly specific reason and highly sort of individualized reason, especially for me. 
I don't think it's applicable for many people, but again, this is what it is. And to continue with that note, Apple Note is obviously the most compatible with Apple devices. And speaking of Apple devices, I purchased my first MacBook Air 2020 during the Black Friday sale, which I highly recommend, by the way, I've been very impressed. So now I've got the seamless integration with my iPhones in terms of AirDrop and handoff and stuff like that. And it's overall a much smoother experience for me. And you want to have some fun when you're taking notes as well, because then the behavior is more and more reinforced and do you know that behavior is good. So it's good that it's reinforced. So just as a quick conclusion, in my review of Apple Notes, my biggest critique was the fact that it was much harder to format text since it had to go back and forth over time, back and forth between bold and italics and then so forth. After using this app again, now I don't find it as disturbing anymore, mainly because I don't really format that often because I just write down my thoughts and not necessarily go back to them every once in a while. But I'm still using Notion for work and YouTube plus some other regularly visited notes. So that is not going to change. But now I'm using the Notion and Apple Notes, that specific combo to get the ideas frictionlessly in Apple Notes, which I then can make stuff of them from Notion. And if you want me to cover the beautiful synergy between those two apps, let me know in the comments. And otherwise, I encourage you to try this combo out and see whether you like it for yourself.